Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. Welcome to the first Make Code Arcade show here on the Make Channel. This is Family Maker Camp, and we're going to be doing coding. My name is my name is Pelly. I am from the Make Code team here at Microsoft, and I have my assistant here, Emil, amazing coder Emil, and together. We're going to be doing arcade games, which uh, are super cool. You can build them in your browser, and then you can run on things like this and take them with you in your little pocket. So we're going to show that all that today. Uh, so if you're uh, watching us live, make sure you uh, you say hi on the chat. We're we're monitoring Twitch, but um, feel free to drop a message uh, in other places like Facebook if you're there. All right, so. Um, coding arcade. So if you're not familiar, we have a code editor that's really fun to use to build retro arcade games. And it is on the arcade.makecode.com. I'm going to drop that in the chat so that people have the link. So if you're wondering what are we going to do today, take a look at the chat. Here's the, here's the link. And this is part of Family Maker Camp. Uh, it's a collaboration with the uh, uh, Make team here at Microsoft. We're gonna do some coding for you. Um, all right. All right, let's go and take a look. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the coding session and we're gonna take a look at the Make Code Arcade. Make Code Arcade runs on any browser. So you can go to the website and you'll be able to do all the lessons like that. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> yeah, and that's what it looks like uh, when you start. And what we're going to do is we're going to do chase the pizza. As a chase the pizza. As a How's, how, how about chasing some pizza today? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, so if you're, if you're new here, you'll see there's a banner. You can create your own games, but we're going to follow tutorials. If you're new to arcade or coding, that's a great idea to start doing these tutorials. It'll show you step by step what um, to do. We always, once we're done, we always change them a bit. Yeah, we always, and then once you're done with the tutorial, you can customize it for your own. Yeah. Ready? All right, let's roll. And slow down on the clicks. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's a really great idea to read, <laughs> read what you have to do in tutorials. I know Emil really hates that part. <laughs> um, right, so if you look at the game here, you know, what is it doing? We've got a smiley and the smiley is eating pizza. Yeah. And you've got three seconds to eat the pizza. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. And every time you eat, you it restarts your timer. Yeah, restart the timer. All right, so there's a few like steps we have to do in the tutorial. It looks like a cool game. Uh, let's get started with that. Now, you know, this is this is new. Uh, just just to give you an idea, you've got your number of steps here. This section here is going to be the description of what you have to do. And then if you're stuck, there's a there's a hint you can click here. This button. Um, yeah. This button here. But we're in paint mode. Oh, yeah. This is where you drag all your blocks. So this is the code section. And then, uh, so this is where you have all the fun. And then this part here, I'm going to highlight that, is where you're going to find them. Yeah. And then once they run, your game will be running here with little guys. <laughs> Amazing drawing skills. All right, so that's pretty much how uh, Make Code works in tutorial mode. Let's get started uh, and let's see what we have to do. Open the scene toolbox and drag the set background color. Uh, and so, in the in when you're in tutorial, it only gives you the blocks that you're gonna use. Yeah. And once you exit, once you're done, they give you the, all the blocks. Yeah. Once you become like no caps pro skill, you're uh, <laughs> you can uh, you have access to all the blocks. Okay. Cool. So here we only have this. But yeah, and then actually, let's take a look. This is a retro arcade game. This is not the the 21st century. This is more like uh, the 80s. So we only have 16 colors. And the reason we only have 16 colors is that ultimately we want to run on tiny little computers. Um, and I have another one here. 
So if you're uh, doing arcade and you're wondering how you want to take that on the go, we've got a few options for you, including zoom in on this one. Ooh. Oh God. Oh God, what happened to my zoom? <laughs> my stand is dying here. I don't know what happened, we moved it. Okay, that's just another little gamer that you can play on. All right, so that's another gamer you can play on. Uh, so there's few vendors that, that provide that. All right. Um, oh, we did that. We did that, and we saw that the simulator ran purple. And you pick purple, but honestly, if you're a fan of green or yellow or brown, just go for it. Yeah. I think the tutorial does green, but red is going to be painful. No, it says... Uh... You can choose what you want. Yeah. Let's let's take to like a I like this color. Teal. All right. Yeah. Um sprites. And open the sprites toolbox drawer, drag the first block into the unstart block on workspace. Alright. This will create a new player character for your game. Oh, oh hallelujah. <laughs> Alright. Um so I don't think we have to draw. I think we're going to draw the next time. Now, this is very important. When the game runs, it starts here. And then it's going to do cling, cling. It's going to go, you know, it's going to run this one, then this one, then this one, kind of a, kind of reading this, this script it has to do. And we call sprites little things that move on the screen. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's a question about the name of this computer. This is uh, running in uh, Chrome, uh, but uh, this will work also in uh, Edge. Uh, yeah, Edge, Chrome, any modern browser will, will run. And this is... This and is... here, uh, yeah, the questionnaire. This is the meow bit. Because it has cat ears. On the and top. the other one we had was... The Pi Gamer. The Pi Gamer. If you click on the download page, You'll see, you can see all the choices of the hardware you can make. So, and you, got, have, you have an arcade table that you can make. Yeah. No, you can build, like, you can build it from parts, which is really cool. Or you can buy an arcade kit and build it. This was in cardboard or in a table. Cool. That's. Yeah, there's a lot of options to, uh, to play these games on the go. So, Great question. <clears throat> Draw your player. Oh, yeah. Draw your player. Yeah, we can't see the player right now. Which is fun. Okay, cool. So you we have, uh, you can draw here, and you have all your colors. Yeah, it's kind of a full pixel art editor. So there's there's a lot of things you can do. Yeah, let's move out of the way. It's actually a pretty good start. It's like a, f a head. No, bring it oh, back. Yeah. That was like the the hair of our dude, or dudette. Okay. There we go. Um. Then I'm gonna put like a. A redhead. A redhead. And then like purple legs. Purple legs. And Here then, we go. There Beautiful go. legs. Oh, that leg is it's a bit broken. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's, it got let's slow down and like we need we need a bit of uh, maybe like balance it with some some green. And, and ice. We need ice. Ice. Green always. Oh yeah. Oh green. yellow. Green. Green. That's gonna be the <gasps> Wait, thing that. Can I make a mouth? Can I make a mouth? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, and of course, you can come back in and redo it. Yeah. I'm going to do something, you know, because this is our theme. I'm just going to do a little white layer around it. Just to clickbait. A... Make it more clickbaity. <laughs> he, <has> a... <laughs> he has a snow. Uh... He has a snow Although he suit. lost his. Ooh. Oh gosh. We're gonna have to fix that. He has a layer of like It'll look better in in fact I'm gonna move it up. Yeah, so if you're you can spend quite a bit of time with this editor, there's a lot of things you can do. But you lost. Not us. <laughs> uh if you're good at drawing, which yeah. <laughs> which is not entirely clear we're good at that. Uh cool. Yeah? Impressive. Um, he doesn't have any arms, but I think that's okay. Look at that. Can we change the background? It's yeah, kind of a... Yeah, we can change the background. Uh, gray? Actually, no, because he came... Purple, yeah. 
purple enough. Although he's purple, which which is unfortunate. For for the sake of hardware demo, what I'm gonna do to is, is go for a black background, and the reason is, otherwise when we show it on the camera, it kind of acts like a flashlight. Yeah, can't see really anything. Jolly. Anyway. Sweet. Uh, controller. So we're gonna move. Toolbox. Okay. So. Yeah. So the sprite is you know is not moving right now, and that's really sad. Hold on. Let me get that. Sad, not moving. Uh, okay, uh, so we're gonna fix that. <laughs> um, all right, so you grab the block from controller, and then um, is that what we have to do? Yep. Yeah, we can always look at the tip. Yeah, it looks like what do we have to do? Okay, let's test it. Yes, so we're uh, we're using the keyboard here. We're using. Uh, either the arrow, arrow keys, keys or, or the WASD, the kind of the, WASD. The WASDerizer <laughs> key. And it's moving. Woo, it's alive. Should we try it on hardware? Yeah, we could. Well, I wanna I wanna put a like I wanna try it on hardware once we have a thing that it chases. Or we could try Let's it. Let's try it now. Um, try it. so move me out and download for the Pi Gamer. Let's let's bring that that video here. Now let's do a download for the Pi Gamer. Oops. So what I'm going to do on the hardware is I'm going to press the reset button, and this will put this device in what we called bootloader mode. Bootloader mode, and which I is the mode you have to get into to download the program. Once the program is on the hardware, wait, does the does the streamer catch the download? It's fixed now. <laughs> Save link as. Oh. And yeah, oh. you don't see it, but there's a drive, and I'm just gonna dump it into Pygamer Pi Gamer boot. boot. Pi Gamer from Adafruit in New York. All right, so uh, how about we go into full view, Emil? Here's the hardware, and you can see. Woohoo! It's working! Yeah, we're just moving around this screen. We're moving around. It's working. Hold on. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hit the camera. It can't be good. I think we've demoed. See, if we had like a purple background. I lost not. it. Hold on. Let me reset that. Yeah. It can go out of the screen. It's gone out of the screen. And I don't know where. <laughs> reset and back to life. Hold on. Yeah. It's pretty good. Give ourselves some uh, some wizardry eyes. All right, so you can build your own games. And guess what? You can take them on the go. They work without a computer. No hands. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that one? Hold on. All right, let's go back to you. Let's go back to coding. Where did we uh, last? What are we doing here? Okay, so we did the movement. That's great. Our little guy is moving around. Mm -hmm. What's next? Um, let's see. Oh, we need to make a different one. Hold on, we got a message on Twitch. Hello, everyone. Yeah, we're here. We're watching, watching the chat. Send us your comment, comments or suggestions for uh, graphics for the the pizza we're not gonna do a pizza we'll take uh we'll take suggestions for sure yeah um so sprites is it my sprite two and don't we want to name it i think you want to put it at the bottom it's going to be clear oops i just hit the mic I'm taking the wrong block oh yeah so i'm pressing control and i'm snapping out the block we... here oh yeah okay yeah Open Sprite Toolbox and drag another set my sprite on the on start, and this will be the pizza in our game. Okay, I think mm -hmm. we clearly is that step. Yeah. Let's go for the next step. In the set my sprite, click on my sprite, open the menu, rename the variable. Okay. I'm gonna name it um, pizza. food. Can we name it food or do we do that? Uh, they want it to be called pizza, so let's stick with that. 
And just, you know, just a quick note, if you're coding, uh, it's really good to describe what your variables are. And what, what is a variable again? Um, a variable is where you place data in, and it, like, it's a name. <clears throat> yeah, it's like a drawer. Imagine you, you place something in a drawer, you close the drawer, and then you come back later, and you open the drawer, and then grab the things out of it. As it's exactly the same way it works, it. but... Yeah. Uh, in memory. It's like a drawer in memory. And you know which one. And should we name this? Uh... Nah, we can leave it. Yeah. I think that's the... So, oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait, no. wait. Um... I think you're going way too fast. All right, so we've renamed our pizza again. Double checking. Oh, this is how you do it. There's a little help. Yeah. Again, if you're doing, if you're watching and dropping in the show here, um, we're, doing a... we're doing a tutorial called Chase the Pizza, which you can do, and you can do that with kids in your household uh, together. It's really fun, kind of have a lot of time drawing the, the pixel art. It's all online at arcade.miko.com. Yeah, there's a question. Uh, can we make a AAA game with this? Uh, you can always, I mean... You can make anything. You could make anything, for sure. Spend the time. Maybe a bit of luck. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. Next step. Oh, no, that's the step. Um, we need to change the kind to food. Oh, yeah. And that's very important to talk about is... A kind there's already a food. Right. Oh, there is? Yeah, there they, is. They gave us food? There's always yeah. a food. And that's a way to say it, to tell the game engine, okay, this this sprite is going to be the food oh, type of sprite. It's it. like you have enemies, you have food, you have coins, you have your players. Projectiles. They have different roles in the game. And you can add your own kind. You can add your own kind when your game gets gets more Big. complex. So. All right, kind of ace that. Always always double check. Boom. That's like what we did. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so now we're just gonna paint. Yeah. Okay, so what are we chasing? That's the. We could chase. That's really the golden question. Uh, we could make our we could make our character look like a hunter, and we could be chasing a little like a deer. Yeah, let's get into artist mode here, mad mad artists. Wait, what am I doing? Uh, you're picking color here. Uh, so. I'm gonna do a deer. <laughs> Are you gonna do a deer? A deer. Just like that? Yeah. Dip some crooked eggs. Uh, legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're watching the birth of a deer. This is like a never attempted before drawing. Of yeah, a, as you can tell. <laughs> as you can tell. This is going to be his tail. Alright. And then this is going to be... Impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to ship up. Yeah, every pixel matters. You can change the size of the, the images if you want. You can do a smaller one, bigger one. We start 16 by 16. It looks pretty good, Emil. Oh, yeah. I'm missing the ears. I'm missing some, like, antlers. Is this gonna be uh, a, a red-nosed deer? Oh, a reindeer? I wanna make a reindeer. It's like a bunny deer. Oh, we can make we can make uh, our person look like Santa, and he has to go chase his reindeer. Even though that's kind of out of season. Kind of out of season. Though. It's it's very. Look, I'm gonna me and do some little kneecaps. <laughs> 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 All right. Somehow the eyes look weird, but. Let's see when, oh, it looks, when it's small. I I want to oh, we need to do the white outline. It looks really better. Oh, yeah, it looks nice. I want to change the eyes, though. Let me just... Let's say it's a rabid. <laughs> it's crazy. I like I like when you added white. Maybe we, we add red. No, that's even worse. That's even worse. Okay, yeah, I think it's But just maybe fine. the eye should be more in the back, like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's better. Somehow this doesn't feel... I don't like the, the black. There you go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's now 
paint the outline of this beautiful deer. It's just looking perfect. It's looking very, It's covered in snow. It's looking very, very, very impressive. There we go. Massive drawing skills. Oh, yeah. And boom, we've got a deer. See that deer there? That's some, that's some serious, uh, serious art right there. Okay, cool. And of course, if you're doing a game, draw your own art, you know? That's, um, uh, that's the fun part. So, uh, I just have an idea. So we could make this guy look like Santa. Yeah. Uh, this is Santa's Okay, reindeer. so they just paint him red. Yeah, let's just paint him red. And this is Santa's reindeer, and he has to chase his reindeer. Uh, we need, he needs a belly. Yeah, he kind of does. Whoa, whoa, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll let you I'll let you handle the belly. So, Maybe undo one more time. Yeah. Oh, which way is the belly? He's gonna he's like slouching back. Oh yeah, like... slouching. Oh yeah. From Santa. Those little arms here. Oh yeah. Look, oh, yeah. he has white gloves. He has white gloves. Yeah, hold on. So he's like slouching, you know, he's got he's drank all these eggnog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, somehow. A red hat? Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of red. We're gonna have to. Here, I can, put, like. Uh, let's, let's, let's paint his face. Yeah, let's paint his face. There you go, Santa. Little oh, nose. yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst Santa ever. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I think no, it's... No, no, there we go. It's getting worse. No, no, no. Now it looks like a skier that has, like, those pro yeah, goggles. Yeah, he's kind of like... Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, totally! Oh, what a genius move. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be Santa. Oh, wait, I, ju I just want, like... Oh, God. Here, wait. Because <clears throat> I want, like, hands. Oh, yeah, his little... Shoes. Yeah, and the shoes. One more red here, and now yeah. he's really like slouching. Yeah, no, like yeah, that's he's like squatting. Much. Yeah, he's squatting. Oops, white. And his ankle's go. pretty broken over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's doing some kind of. <laughs> that's probably that's probably the best art we've ever done. <laughs> yeah. <it's probably> the... <laughs> okay, we got Santa, and he's running he after look... his deer. Oh, it looks nice. <gasps> Looking nice. Oh, looking real nice. All right. Um, okay. Yeah. That's our Santa people. Right there! That's Santa! <laughs> okay, I couldn't resist. Sorry. Uh, all right. So we've done our art. Step 10. Oh, we're supposed to go in the gallery, but mm. we skipped that part. Um, open the sprites in Sprites Toolbox drawer and okay. drag the on sprites overlaps. An event. Another an event. event. And this event is an event when the sprite of kind player. So I'm reading the event here. I'm like it's like like karaoke. When the sprite of kind player. Wait, wrong color. <laughs> Like the sprite of kind player overlaps with the other sprite of kind. Ink. Food. Something. <laughs> Let's take a look at the next step. Okay, yeah, that's the step. We have to. Food. And the reason we put this code is to. So, yeah, so make sure uh, you make that change. You know, I didn't know Santa called his reindeer food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a bit of a problem. <clears throat> Make sure you change it to food, uh, don't leave that player. That's um, and the reason you do that is you're gonna you're gonna this code is gonna run whenever a sprite of kind player, which is Santa, is gonna touch a sprite of kind food, which is the little reindeer. Yeah, Santa has changed. It's kind of now he's more like <clears throat> it's futuristic. Santa. Yeah, he's pretty slick, pretty yeah. cool. All right, uh, yeah, all right, 
overlaps with pizza. Okay. So we need to add points. When the player overlap with the pizza sprite, let's add a point to our game. So remember, the game is chase the pizza and then grab it. Uh, yeah, there's a question whether you can become um, a professional programmer just from this app. And I would say the answer is uh, a bit more complicated. I would say yes, you can definitely learn to code uh, using uh, make code and start your journey towards becoming a professional programmer. Um, but you'll have to probably learn a few more environment. Like coding languages? Yeah, like maybe C or Python or things like that. But, you, can, you know, you have to start somewhere and, and make code is a great place to start. It's the first step, the hardest one. Then you have 9,999 steps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get started. This is quite fun. Oh, we still have the, uh, the eyes going on. Oh, yeah, we've had them for a long time. All right. So whenever, it, uh, actually, we can see the points here going oh. crazy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because, see? Woo. Ooh. 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 Okay, we need, a, we need to destroy that sprite. <laughs> and that's really the overlap going on here. As soon as a pixel touches the other pixel, it triggers. Oh, we have a lot of points. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of points. Good for us. Cool. Uh, Let's take a look at the next step. Okay. Let's set the position of the pizza at random locations around the screen. And to do that, we're gonna use the set my sprite position. All right, so there's this beautiful block that lets you reposition a sprite. And we're gonna put that in the event because this is gonna run, there we go. And make sure, wait. Now look, we're removing my sprite. That's not really what we want. We're gonna change. See how Santa, Santa's up there. Yeah, Santa's up there. That's not what you want. You want to move the reindeer. So click here. And then you change the variable. Change the variable. And now, all well, the reindeer is over they there. They just swapped. <laughs> they just swapped. Open the math. Open the math. Random is like the block we use a ton. Yeah, so you, yeah, it's super helpful. You need, you need randomness. And you're going to drag down one for X and one for Y. Now, quick note before we go there. Let's do a lesson on how screen coordinates work. I'm going to go and do some amazing drawing. You start counting from zero. You start counting from zero and you start from here and it goes like that. So the origin's up top And left. like that. Yeah. Something crashed here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's, that's zero and zero. My, you know, that's X and Y. And now we have that's going to be 120. That's not X. <laughs> that's Y. <laughs> Sorry. And that's X. Okay, X goes eventually, Y goes down, but the important thing is it's on the top corner. So 120 high and amazing 160 wide. This is a super not HD screen. Uh, 160 by 120. All right, so now that we know that, this, this is helpful because over the X, we're going to go 0 to 160. Mm -hmm. uh, so definitely something to think about. All right. Is that what they want us to do? Yeah. See, 0 to 10. It's, it's kind of sticking around there. You cannot really leave because it, it stays within that area. All right. <clears throat> oh, well, your kid's screen is 160 by 120. So we're going to change the X from, we're going to change within, so we're going to say 10 to 150. So we stay 
within the thing. And then the next one, what do you think is going to be? Uh, 10 to 120. 110. Yeah, 110. So that's the center of the sprite. Just don't want it to leave. Okay. Try that. Oh, yeah. It's disappearing. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and now you only get one point. Do catch the reindeer, but can you catch the reindeer and you have to come at it from behind to catch it? Because if you come at it from front, can you measure that? Um, yeah, we could. That'd be no, not in no, the tutorial, yeah, though. Yeah, not in the tutorial. Yeah, that, but that's the fun part about arcade is that you you kind of, uh, you kind of, kind of, mod uh, you can customize your game and add more functionality. Uh, yeah, there's a question about our name. Uh, we are from the Microsoft MakeCode team, and we're doing uh, MakeCode Arcade Twitter handles uh, at Pelican. But we also have a Twitch uh, a Twitch channel if you want to follow us. And we're here on Family Maker Camp, hosted by Make. Thank you, Make, uh, hosting us and uh, letting us do some coding online. Yeah, cool. Step seventeen. All right, let's see the next step. Let's restart the countdown each time. So we are going to start a countdown right after. Yeah. All right. So, so where is that countdown? Oh, yeah, there we go. And put that there. <clears throat> of course, when we start, we overlap. So this will run, and we have a countdown. But the game is very easy right now. Yeah. Mo the pizza's not moving. But that's uh, what we wanted to do. And I think the last step is done. Done. You've got your game fully uh, built. Pretty cool. Let's try it on the try it on the Pi Gamer. Can you start a download procedure, Emil? Yep. So I put Pi Gamer. Again, if you're uh, if you're arriving here, uh, there is hardware for arcade that you can buy. And uh, you can basically take your game uh, to a tiny little handheld and play it in, in your, keep it in your pocket and play it just like it's the 80s. That looks so weird when we download. <laughs> All right, go to uh, face mode and maximize the, this one and then swap us. Can you click on the video and then it swaps? All right, here we go. A bit blurry but that's the game that's the game you can play it for hours come on come on game still work still working on the autofocus on this view yeah okay Emil that's the game that's the game right there Your face for, Santa that, go for the image. For the screen. All right. Santa has to go catch his reindeer. Okay. Yeah, it's getting crazy. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got the hardware, and this is pretty fun because you can take it uh, take it with you. You know, I'm, I'm going to plug it, and here we go. It's my game. Oh. I can take it in my pocket, go play around. So let's finish the tutorial. Oh, okay. And we're going to chase... Uh, Santa, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I want... All right. Santa's... Reindeer. I can't spell. <coughs> Is that how you spell reindeer? Wait, I'm recording GIF. Okay, so uh, you can sh uh, share a game. Um, at the end of the tutorial, we'll share the game for you. Uh, record a little GIF, it looks better. Publish. And publish that link. You can send to your friends, family, and uh, or you can also scan this game with your phone and then play it with your phone full screen. Yep. So that's a way to share your game around. Done with the tutorial. We can start customizing this. We have 
we still have a, quite a bit of time, so we can do that. If you have suggestions about changing the game, feel free to drop that in the chat. We're looking at that. We are here on the Make Magazine channels. All right, so Emil, what did we want to do? We want to do something about these. Uh, I'm going to remove this countdown for now because it's going to go game over all the time. Yeah. It's kind of annoying. So what did you want to do? Um, well, I want the reindeer to run away from oh. your player. Yeah. So I think there's something cool here called move. No. I want... Because we can do chase. There's a chase? Yeah, there's a chase. There's a follow. Follow. There's a follow. Oh, you know what we could do? So here's what we could do. We could have an invisible sprite, which is where the reindeer should be. And then we make the reindeer follow the, follow the sprite. sprite. All right, so there's a question from Sienna. Thank you for the question. Can you add obstacles to the game? Yes, we can. Let's add a tile map. Yeah, we can do tile map. All right, let's, let's add a tile map to the game. That's going to be fine. Let's go, Emil. But... And then we'll just chase the... Mm -hmm. And he has to run away. Then it'll be cool and he'll run yeah. around the tile map. All right, so tile map is under scene. And there's this block... Now we have... A lot of blocks. Yeah, there's a uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a tile map. Uh, I kind of want to put it at the start, yeah. And this is a full tile map editor. It's staying a very dark uh, theme just for the hardware. Ardo? So I kind of want to put like paths. Okay, let's let's paint that. Go ahead and. Pew. Then we also need. Uh. No, you're still in paint mode. There we go. Da, 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 de, de, de. Um, 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 change there. Nah, it keeps going. So we're drawing a town map to make the the chase not just a screen, but a whole a whole world. Yeah. So Santa will have to kind of. And this will be more than one screen. This tile map is big. Yeah. Uh, so then we need a big countdown because he has to find yeah. the reindeer. <laughs> then the reindeer and you can away. add more things. I was thinking. And then we could add these. And then these are walls, right? So walls are separate. I had an idea for the. So you have. Can I? Can I? Can I draw? Wait. Yep. So, uh, maybe let's show what what a tile map looks like. Oh yeah, but I don't like these. You don't like these, all right. <clears throat> and now, ta -da! So we don't. We, we're gonna need to put camera follow yeah. the sprite. <laughs> so you see the the sprite is kind of leaving the screen here. Oh, but to answer your question, this is now a wall. So trying to get down until we can go into. We could uh, do it like a maze. Yeah. We, you better be careful because the way we the way we place our reindeer right now, it might actually be inside of a wall. It might be inside of a wall. <laughs> so oh, no, it gets pushed out. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it gets pushed out. It gets pushed out. Uh, but, yeah, the camera is not following the player. So what we're going to do is... Camera. Camera. Oh, yeah. gosh. There we go. Camera following my sprite. And just tell it to follow our player sprite. And what's going to do is that it's going to keep the view, just kind of what you expect. So that's great. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to spawn this. We're going to respawn this things differently because we're doing a tile map now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to place it on top of a random tile. I'm going to place the pizza on top of these tiles so instead of doing thinking about coordinates i'm thinking about tile tile so we have to find him now we have to find him and he's hiding somewhere uh, oh god yeah there we go, <laughs> there you go. Uh, and he moved somewhere so so we need to kind of we need to approve the move uh there's a question about uh how can i get points in this game but right now you get points when you do an overlap uh, but info yeah and if you can't find something, uh, go into search. 
Search for points. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need to add point to the description. Score. Hey, score. score. Yeah, we should definitely have point in the description. Uh, so here's the thing I want to do. I want to I want to create a new sprite, and that sprite is going to be. Uh, I'm going to call that a ghost. <laughs> And that ghost is fully transparent. I'm gonna put it on ghost mode. Right? Uh, oh. When you put it. My ghost. <laughs> my ghost. <laughs> uh, so it doesn't show anything. And wait. And what we're gonna say is we're gonna tell the. Reindeer to follow. Rain ghost. Reindeer to follow the ghost. So the reindeer is not going to teleport anymore. Uh, it's going to run around. Where's the fellow? Yes. He's going to follow this this beautiful little ghost. But how's the ghost going to move? Then we just... Uh, so I'm following. So my pizza is following my ghost. And now I'm going to reposition my ghost somewhere else. Let me just also... The other thing you suggested was... It's the, we need to be faster than the reindeer. This yeah. ghost has to be a ghost. Yeah. And what it means is that it doesn't touch anything. What? Oops. Wait. Let me... Oh. I think ghost mode. A ghost mode doesn't. Screws oh yeah. Up. I'm back here. <laughs> I'm back here. I can't. I can't get it. <laughs> hey, the game is much more fun now. <laughs> Woo! Then and then and then and then and it has to be faster. The the reindeer. The reindeer has to be like ever so faster than the so. Santa. Maybe one hundred and five. Hold on! Hold on! So Fanta goes at the speed of a hundred, roughly. No, one hundred twenty was good. Cause look, I can like I have to like go around, and we're gonna add more obstacles. So I think yeah, he fine. does get stuck though. He's trying to get to his little ghost, but you can see his eh, point and farm. And <laughs> now he went somewhere else. Oh, music. He if he gets stuck, he can't escape. Should we do some effect when we uh, when we eat? Yeah, but um, can I add more stuff to the tile map? Or will yeah. that screw up? Yeah, you can always go back and edit your tile map, which is super fun. So what are you adding? You don't like those? No, but I want to draw something in the middle. Oh. So like, hold up. I need to erase Just these. hide the walls for now. Okay. I need to draw this. Go back to oh yeah. All right. There you go. Okay, so. Gonna need some kind of Pac-Man style. Oh, music. Yeah, we we're gonna we're gonna do some music. It yeah. it does get very loud on streams, <laughs> so we have to figure that part out. Uh, we'll add some music. What are you doing? Some kind of dungeon? Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, okay. oh you're alternating. Wow. This is dedication. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You need a little light sometime. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little light, but just just do it. I would do it all and then mutate some some blocks. Okay. So oh, that yeah. is that is some serious artwork right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want like a a closed room in the middle? There you go. Then since this is gonna be like a dungeon, he is gonna go. 
So I was thinking it could be like he gets his reindeer and he brings it back into here. Oh. So what I would do is like paint like this and then grab this and then kind of click randomly and then... Doesn't look good. <laughs> Wait a minute! I was minute. thinking, I was thinking... Then there's a transition from, you know... The transition... Can I? Yeah. Here. Look. Oh, this dungeon mode is really fun. What is that? This is the ground of the dungeon. It's the ground of the dungeon? Yeah. It's like a portal to space. All right, and we're building this tile map here. Yeah. Which for, might take forever. <laughs> might take forever. I'm trying to finish it up. And I want to. So somebody asked about music, so we're going to have to show that there you a little go. bit. And then, hold up, I need to put. You need to add walls this and then I need to add walls but I want like Santa because there has to kind of be a, an objective so I want Santa to like he brings his so he gets the reindeer and then you know how in uh well we remember when we, you we did um he like the reindeer follows him and then he brings it back then there's like okay so so when he hits the red deer the reindeer follows Santa now and mm -hmm. then then he brings it back, then the new ranger spawns. And then whenever... And he has to get like 12 rangers or something. All right, so let's see. So whenever he collides with the reindeer, instead of going random, we're going to now tell the reindeer. I don't know that how that's going to pan but out. When we did um, when we did water sim, the thing would follow him. Yeah, we kind of... Oh, let's try it. Uh, music. Uh, this question about music. Yeah, we can add music. Uh, let's add a, a background, background music to the. I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> we'll remove it. it. I think it's pretty loud. This gallery of songs. Can I? Well, oh. I think our headphones are not set. It's playing somewhere. It's playing somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you can set music. Uh, we're not going to do music in this particular show, but yeah, there is uh, there's also sounds you can play. You can a bunch of stuff. Okay, Emil. So let's do one test. Let's see if we can handle changing the follower. Oh yeah. Oh, cause I already. Oh yeah. So let's keep that one here. And so whenever we're gonna set the pizza to follow my sprite. Yes. At kind of a s slower rate. Okay. But if they so now it's following you because at the beginning we spawn over lot. Okay, so that's bad. So. So we need to we need to start by when you don't start before they touch each other. We need to spawn him somewhere. No. That's my ghost. There we go. What? Uh, That's my ghost. Yeah, we're going to spawn him somewhere, and then we're going to spawn the reindeer somewhere else. That's going to be fun. Yeah, and now you follow him, and then you take him to the... <coughs> we need like a special tile yeah, in the center of the tile map. That's what I was thinking. All right, um, let's do that. So... Can I have the like a chest? Oh, yeah, a chest. Can we you rotate? Want... No. Oh god. You can do like this one. <laughs> yeah. It's oh. a portal. It's a portal. Portal. Yeah. <clears throat> and then uh, I just want to just want to add here. I want to move some. Uh... We could draw it. I'm just. You want to add some walls? No, not too many because our. Our reindeer is not really smart enough to go around them right now. <laughs> All right, then let's put some walls on that. <laughs> walls. There you go. So there's some obstacles. Okay, so the reindeer, okay, to recap, Santa looks for his reindeer who escaped. 
and then the reindeer follows him home, goes home, and then when he's there, reindeer stops. And the reindeer. No, reindeer escapes again. No, mm, the reindeer just stays there, and then and then there's gonna be tons of reindeer. Or. Oh, you want to spawn a new one? Okay. So we need to handle the event when the reindeer. And then once he has like a lot of like eight reindeer, or which something, is our food, overlaps with the orb. That. Okay. At that point, what we do is we spawn a new reindeer. Yeah. And our reindeer spawning code is here. We should make a function. Yeah, let's make a function. And function is a great way to reuse code. In this case, we have to reuse code to create a reindeer. So we're going to call that. It's also a great idea to um, use reindeer? to use a name that describes what the function does, does, which is really a pizza. But yeah. <laughs> All right, and we have to extract. So this fun a function has to be called. So we're going to call it here, and then we're going to move this here and this here that sounds great and yeah that's pretty much it wait you know what I'm gonna move the ghost up here and I'll place the ghost move this here move this here okay I'm shuffling oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm shuffling this, trying to keep things connected. My sprite, my sprite, ghost, ghost. This goes with my sprite, ghost, ghost. Oh, we made my sprite uh, a ghost. Okay, we didn't use that. Let's skip that. Um, that one we want to be part of our function, so I'm moving that one here. All right, so okay. we move this into this. I'm like, where'd my reindeer go? Where'd my reindeer go? And now, uh, so we're just gonna create the new, the, another reindeer. Boom. Okay, let's see. Hey, reindeer, come back home! Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a bug. Oh my god. The it's game gonna is going to crash soon. It's going to probably crash the streaming. <laughs> I'm going to stop this before my machine goes down. Obviously, something should... didn't go wrong. Yeah, I think... I think I know why. Yeah. Is it... Well, we have a reindeer there. It constantly overlaps. Yeah. So what we're going to do is going to check that it is equal to the current one we care about. So we're going to, we're going to call create reindeer and then we're going to do a check. Wait, we're going to do a check. We're going to say, Hey, if, if this sprite is equals to the current sprite, then, then yeah. So if this is equal to, and then I'm going to grab my variable, my pizza then yes, create a new one. Otherwise, ignore that. Oh, because then we can just run on. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, let's go see. for it. Oh, no, I don't. no, it's not there. Where's my reindeer? Oh, Grab the reindeer. It's there again. Hey, it's there. Ah, there's another one. Oh, it keeps following you. Oh, we have to unfollow. I guess... Uh, there is no one following. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> there this, is, we need... This is where we get points. What? We should get one point every time we bring a reindeer back, and then it stops following. Can we do that? Yeah, we need to get point when here. This is where you get point. This is where you get point. The problem is it doesn't unfollow. <clears throat> oh, you can't unfollow? No, we need we need to tell it to. I think there is no unfollow. Well, that is. 
and is kind of sad. Wait, we could we could make another ghost sprite that doesn't move and that just stays there. Exactly. We could totally make that. That stays on the blue. Yeah, that's a great idea. All right, you want to do it? Yep. So. I uh, create a new. I'm just gonna duplicate this. Uh. No, that's that's the follow. We need to create a new sprite. Oh yeah, new sprite. How are we going? We have five minutes. Five minutes, Emil. Here, set my sprite. Here, the first block. All the way down. All the way down. Don't drop it in. Don't drop it in randomly everywhere. Ah, okay, let me ah. do that. Because I got the. All right. So this is gonna be. I'm gonna call that. Passive ghost. The orb. Unmover like, ghost. What's the? What do, where do you? Um, ra where do reindeer? Teleporter. Where do reindeer live? North Pole teleporter. I don't know. North Pole ghost. North Pole ghost. <laughs> okay, that's where the reindeer has to go. And it's a kind of ghost. Uh, no. Let's do a new kind. Goal. Just to be sure. No. And we're gonna position him on one of the orbs. Yeah. Any of them. Doesn't matter. Uh, so we've got this invisible little sprite here that's right there on our goal. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell our sprite to follow it. Yeah. Once we so, hey, pizza, follow this uh, North Pole. North Pole. Well, let's see. See that? But he's always going into this corner. I just realized. Yeah. I think we should remove this. Yeah, he's stuck. He always goes into that corner. Go home! Oh, woohoo! This looks cool! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Santa needs to get all his uh, his reindeers to uh, whatever whatever animals they are. But the reindeers don't see. Oh, they're now they him. follow. <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> There's well, sometimes it's, it's because we spawn the, the. You might be lucky, and the reindeer might be going someplace you already are. And the magnet, see, it keeps on overlapping. There's tons of the same sprite. Yeah. Well, that's normal because we always go in the same spot. No. Yeah. Don't go to the same spot. I'm trying, trying to avoid it. Ah, oh, damn it. We can... Oh, All right. Gonna, well, that's that's a pretty slick game right there. Uh, we're two minutes in, so we're gonna we're gonna share it so that people can play if they want to watching the show and they want to play it. We're gonna share that so that it's stored in the chat. Junk. Mm -hmm. We hit. Publish project right there, and if you're watching this in the chat, let me go and put that, put that here for everyone to try it out. Um, yeah, this was Make Good Arcade on the family make uh, make together maker camp for Make Magazine, and uh, my name is Pelly. I'm from the Make Code team. And I'm a meal. And I'm a meal. No, you're a meal. <laughs> and uh, we built a reindeer chasing pizza game on arcade.making.com. Santa has to get his. Uh... Yeah, you need to get the herd back. So you could use know. bunnies or you can use any kind of animals you want. Doesn't you can have use to cockroaches. be. Cockroaches. Yeah, mm. cockroaches, <laughs> coins, or anything like that. Um, and this was a lot of fun. We'll be, uh, hopefully, we'll be back for more. Uh, Arcade action, but otherwise arcade.maker.com is where you can find this uh, this activity, this website. Um, traditionally, let's go and uh, and do some uh, some final little phase here. We're gonna prepare our final screenshot. Here, Santa lost his reindeer, but we're gonna find his happy and then. All right, Emil. 
<laughs> All right, that's the that's the screenshot. All right, that's it for today, everybody, and thank you for watching.